everyone, it's Rosa and today's video is going to be on Lucille Sharp from the new movie Crimson Peak and I hope you guys enjoy. Starting off with this primer right here, I'm going to be putting that all over my face, making sure that I have a nice clean palette for the foundation since Lucille's skin is pretty much flawless. This is the combination I'm using for this foundation and I'm just going to be dotting that all over my face and I'm going to be buffing that in with a buffing brush after I'm done. Lucille has no freckles whatsoever so I had to do my best to conceal all of mine due to sun exposure. I have more freckles than usual but that's usually how it is, right? Summertime the freckles come out. Next, taking my Naked Skin Concealer, I'm just going to be concealing a little bit underneath the eyes on my higher points just to make my skin a little bit more pale because Lucille's skin is pretty much pale and she lives in a really cold part of England and there's snow everywhere. <laughs> so now I'm taking my Ben Nye Luxury Powder just to set it all. And after this, I'm actually going to be going in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette because I wanted to chisel out my cheekbones a little bit. Not so much, just Lucille has higher cheekbones than I do, so I have to go ahead and do that. Just a tad, and you won't even see it. Now I'm going in with a highlighter from the Kat Von D Palette. By the way, all of the products that I'm using in this video are going to be listed down below just in case you guys are wondering the exact names and things like that. Now I'm going to be showing you some eyebrow stuff. This is actually the eyebrow um, products I do use on a regular basis, but I'm going in with the Anastasia Brow Gel, uh, Dip Brow, I'm sorry, in dark brown. And I'm just going to try to make my eyebrows as straight as possible because Lucille's eyebrows are pretty straight. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows to make them a little bit more straight. Now for eyes, I'm going in with Painterly Paint Pop by MAC. And I'm just going to be putting that all over my eyelids, almost up to my brow bone. Going in with my Morphe Brush Palette, I'm going in with a tan color from that palette and just putting that in my crease, nothing too crazy. Um, I just want to make my eyes a little bit more deeper since Lucille's eyes are uh, pretty deep set. Then I'm going in with a lighter shade for my lid just to make that contrast a little bit more vibrant. And again, these names of these products, of these Morphe eyeshadows, will be listed down below. Going in with Mr. Right Now by The Bomb, I'm just going to be lining my eyes. This is just a matte nude, just to make my eyes look a little brighter. And then we are just putting on some mascara. Now for the main event, this is Benetint by Benefit. I'm going to be using that for my cheeks as well as my lips because this specific makeup look is from one of the ending scenes of the movie where they're fighting in snow. <laughs> so she needs to, well, I guess before the fight in snow because her skin's pretty much flawless here, but it is cold inside their house, so she needs to have flush cheeks, and I thought that Benetint would be the best bet, seeing that that's the most natural type looking blush that I have. Next, I'm taking it and putting it on my lips as well. This stuff smells like roses, so I felt even more vintage doing this makeup look, which was awesome. Um, I'm obsessed with like Lucille and Thomas Sharp. Right now, their stories. I'm listening to the, one of their um, the book on Audible right now. So, if you guys are interested, you should go and check out Audible if you haven't yet. I'm not affiliated or anything. It's just uh, that's how I listen to my books. But yeah, so. This is kind of what the makeup is going to look like, and I'm just going to set that, and I'm going to start working on my hair. Um, but yeah, you guys should go see that movie. Um, it's pretty much, if you like Phantom of the Opera or like any type of vintage gothic romance type movies, this is the perfect movie for you. Of course, it's horror because it's by Guillermo del Toro, but it's a mixture of a lot of stuff, and so... I don't know. I really liked it. It might not be a guy flick unless you're into gothic romances, but everyone should go and see it. I think it's beautiful. But now I'm going to go ahead and just part my hair in the middle because of the fact that I have, um, that Lucille, I'm sorry, has a middle part while she has her braid in. And now I'm going to just put in some oil into my hair 
And again, this will be listed down below, and I'm just going to be putting that through my hair just to make it a little bit more manageable to work with. As you can see now, I'm a brunette, so surprise! <laughs> but um, I'm going to go ahead and take all my hair to one side, keeping my part in the middle. And I'm just going to be honestly making a side braid. Um, she has a large braid going down her hair. Um, unfortunately, I don't have as long of hair as she does, but I wanted to try anyway. I'm just going to go ahead and braid that all the way down and secure it with a black elastic. And I'm just letting a little piece of hair out just to make it a little bit more messy. And here's the finished look. Just get yourself a red crimson ring and you're all set to go for this makeup look. It's a very easy last minute makeup look if you want to have a cute Halloween costume or, you know, cosplay. Just wear something red and you're good to go. And this is Lucille Sharp from Crimson Peak. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!